Okay, so you know a little about the motorcycle and what to do before riding it. Now let's take a minute to look at one more very important part of owning a motorcycle, general maintenance. You made a very large investment in your bike and you want to help it last as long as you can. General maintenance of your motorcycle will help you keep the bike on top form and keep the systems working correctly and smoothly. You want to make sure you regularly change the oil, primary fluid, transmission fluid, and service or change the air cleaner. These small maintenance projects will all extend the life of your motorcycle and help it run more efficiently. First, we're gonna look at oil change intervals. All bikes will vary, so check your owner's manual for the proper oil change schedule. You'll want to change the filter and the oil at the same time. Transmission oil changes should be done about every 5,000 miles on a Harley. Same with the primary. You will get dirt in the system and wear from the gears will get in the oil. They do not have filters, so go ahead and change them every 5,000 miles. Different makes and models will vary in the schedule and servicing. For example, many metric cruisers will share the same oil in the transmission and the primary. Consult your owner's manual before changing your fluids. JP Cycles carries a wide selection of factory and aftermarket service manuals for most makes and models, if you have any questions. You'll also want to regularly check your air filter to see if it needs to be cleaned. The filter will get dirty. How fast it gets dirty will depend on the environment you're riding in. Check the filter every 5 to 10,000 miles. Having a clean air filter will give you more airflow and keep the dirt out of the engine. You can also get better gas mileage and better performance out of your motor. Spark plugs. On today's motorcycles, you really should not need to change the spark plugs more than once per season. If you have a fouling problem, you may have to change them more often, but you should inspect them every time you change your oil. Periodically, you should plan to thoroughly clean your motorcycle. Cleaning the motorcycle not only helps you keep it looking good, but it also keeps the parts moving smoothly and correctly. This also provides you with another opportunity to look over the bike and it shows it off to your neighbors. When cleaning the motorcycle, make sure if you are using a high pressure sprayer or even a normal hose pressure to stay away from the wheel bearing areas and if possible, try not to blow water into the main electrical components. If you blow water into the wheel bearing areas, you can wash the grease out, causing bearing failure. JMP Cycles has a great wash kit available to use for this purpose. We have selected most everything you will need to really keep your bike looking great and bundled it all together for you. Check our website or catalog for more details. All right, now it's time for the fun part, accessorizing. We know you want to make the bike look and feel more like your own, and there's a lot of simple ways to start doing this. One easy way is to start by changing your handlebars and grips. You'll want to get the look and feel that makes the bike your own. There's a lot of different styles of handlebars and grips out there. You just have to look at what appeals to you and will fit your motorcycle. Seats. You may want your seat to be very comfortable for you, or you may be looking for style. When it comes to seats, some are more suited to style over comfort. Seat styling can be whatever you want. You can choose stud, conchos, fringe, or plain. There is a wide range of seats out there to please most everyone. Exhaust. Before changing your exhaust, you may have to decide how you want the bike to look or how you want it to sound. Exhaust can also make a big difference in the performance of your motorcycle. There are exhaust systems available with or without mufflers, dual or two into one, or big fat chrome. Another area you can make a big change in the look and feel of your motorcycle is foot rests. There are a wide variety of different styles and sizes available. You can choose a floorboard or a regular peg design. There are also pegs that are made that are extra wide that fall in between a foot peg and a floorboard. You can go with chrome or rubber or chrome and rubber. 
You decide what's most comfortable for you. You can also add accessories to make your ride more comfortable. Windshields are a big part of this. A windshield can change the way you ride for a day. One of the first things a windshield does is to keep the debris and rain off you while you're riding. It also takes away a lot of fatigue from riding by helping block the wind. There are a number of different designs out there. Basically, there are two different styles of mounting, fork mounted and handlebar mounted. Before looking at a windshield, be sure to check your mounting measurements. For more information on windshields, please check out our tech tip on windshield or our video online at jpcycles.com. Extra cargo, saddlebags and luggage racks are available in a wide variety of styles and sizes. Many times, luggage racks work together in tandem with Sissy Bar and the other bags from manufacturers like tea bags and the Karyak and Touring bags. Saddlebags mount either directly to the fender or can even be thrown over the fender or over the seat. There is a large variety of sizes and styles available. Bags can be plain, with conchos, studs, fringe, or a combination of these. You can basically choose the bags that fit your style. And finally, there are chrome accessories available for all parts of your motorcycle. They make chrome covers to fit the engine, the brakes, the frame, transmission, and much more. Covers are made to fit almost anything on the bike. Most are easily installed with a bare minimum of training. Some items, however, do require a mechanic to install them for you. They require some disassembly of parts on the motorcycle, which, if you do not have a lot of experience with, should not be attempted on your own. You have to know your own level of mechanical ability. And if you have questions, feel free to give our technical service line a call. That is what our technicians are here for, to help you with whatever questions you have. That's about all the time we have for today. I hope you learned something that will help you be more confident about your motorcycle and enjoy riding even more. Keep checking back for more tech tips and videos on the JNP Cycles website. Thanks again for watching. Ride safely.